My name is Peter, and this is Levi. Eva, I can assure you that your answers are very important. All of this is going to help us determine where we'll place you. Okay. What was going through your mind yesterday morning, as soon as you woke up? Right when I woke up? Yes. Um, I felt a sense of relief. I had been so busy with the reports and jet lines at work, and I was looking forward to going back today with everything back to normal for a while. So you were living in a pleasant moment. That's great. What else? Nothing much, really. I, I thought about getting one of those huge TVs for a moment, but then I thought, what would I really do with it? Interesting. It's always nice to look alone. Okay, here's a more uh, reasonable and common question. What are your strengths and your weaknesses? And can you really elaborate by asking yourself how they've aided you and crippled me throughout your life? Really think about it. Oh, I don't know why this is occurring to me right now, but I would say that one of my main strengths would be uh, the knowledge I got from my sociology classes. Um, let's see, there was Comte Skinner, I think. Okay, okay, good. I think I can see where this is going. So tell us, how did that age you in life? Well, I think of the term behaviorism. It allows me you know, to judge people less and to have a better understanding of who they are. You're telling me you never judge people? Not as much as I used to. Now I think I'm a little bit more aware now these days. Are you? Think about it. Don't you know someone that had a bad childhood? Or someone with rich parents? Or someone that was molested? You're going to assume that they're going to behave a certain way. Would that be judging? Well, I never thought about it that way. I mean, I'm not blameless. I'm sure I've judged people before, but I'm learning. And just to follow up. Do you really believe that later on in life, their actions are justified? I, I guess you got me there. Just think about it. Time isn't a factor here. You don't have anyone else? It may help to ask, do you think behaviorism invalidates responsibility? No, I think we use what we learn as a guide to help us grow and become more responsible. With the right awareness, one can understand one's part in fulfilling one's duty. That's a very good answer. Let's hear your weaknesses. Um. On occasion, I just get over-analytical to the point where I'm just stuck in one spot. You know, every every once in a while, I get the feeling that, that the worst is going to happen. Sounds like quite a rush. Does it actually happen? What? Does the worst actually ever happen? I, I suffered the loss of a loved one five years ago, and now it's just me over-analyzing it. I slowly overcome it, but I just... I just don't understand where they go. Where who goes? People. When when they die, that, that was the one thing I was always uncertain about. And I never actually took the time to think of the afterlife. I guess that's also something I'd overanalyze to the point to where I just, it just lost all meaning to me. Speaking of overanalyzing, now this is important. This isn't a question I want you to answer but I need you to close your eyes and go through your memories. Think of all the good things, your carefree moments, the memories you cherish the most. Now, think of all the bad things in your life, all the things that brought you pain, that changed your life forever. Now I'm gonna ask you, do you know why you're here? I, I never woke up this morning. Do you know where you are? I don't, I don't even know what day it is. Well, you're right, you didn't wake up. And this isn't a dream. This isn't a specific day either. 
Time doesn't exist here. You, you mean I've passed on? 